Okay, so I gotta do a part two because that, I can't fit everything into 10 minutes. Um, I am not an initiate of Lakumi, but I know in my blood, in my everything that's within me that um, it's a potential path that I could step into if it's something that I choose and if it's something that's aligned for me because I, I respect the process that you have to get a reading. But also, I respect that, um, you know, I want to learn as much as I can on my own and develop my relationship with my ancestors first and really get a core foundation, a core understanding of the ancestors, of how these processes work, of how the Orishas are actually living inside of me and how to understand their energies, how to live in harmony with the energy of the world, the atmosphere, how to transcend my, my ego, my human identity to live in my soul awareness while being in a body. My ancestors have helped me with that. And I don't find a lot of people speaking about that. And, I, and these practices are beautiful. There's healing that, you know, they're magical. But also for me, if I were to move forward with Lakumi or any ATR, it's not because of the spell work or because, you know, I want to be able to say, oh, you know, and I've been told this and I forgot about this, that Shango owns my head. And I don't know. I don't know. I know you have to get a reading. And so, but I've had three random experiences. One was with the Lakumi, 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 and Ifa. Two Lakumi, one Ifa priest that said that they saw Shango around me and they felt that Shango, you know, on my head. I don't know. I actually was like, I don't want Shango. I want Yemaya. That's who I was connected with. But so, you know, again, where am I going with this? I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Working with your ancestors, working with these systems, if I were to step into it because I know that they're sacred and our ancestors went through a lot, you know, the ones that were in Latin, South America, Latin America, the Caribbean, the diaspora here in America to protect them. If I were to do it, it would be to enrich the relationship that I already have with my higher self, with my soul, to deepen my understanding and to just open me up to more, to open me up to more. Um, but. Working with my ancestors, I've learned a lot about my connection with plants, my connection with nature, my connection with animals, my connection with my own physical body, and how the soul communicates through the mind, through the nervous system, which is where our gifts come from. It's an expression of the soul. It's deepened my understanding of the soul and of being on this journey as a human, becoming, evolving, and understanding my connection with everything, with the stars, with the planets. It's helped me to find my own sovereignty, to know my own oneness. And so um, that's where I am right now. And I'm still exploring. I'm still new with this particular aspect of my spirituality, although I've trained in a lot of other things for the last 20 years, but it's something I consider sacred and powerful. And I will tell you that um, we all have a library, a warehouse, a database of knowledge and wisdom and real power that we have access to through our lineage. lineage. And I've learned that by working with my ancestors. And so, like I said, like there's times where I'm meditating and I can see in my mind's eye that they're doing rituals on my behalf and they're going to the Orishas on my behalf. It's so humbling, like they love me that much that they are doing that for me. So I honor them, I talk to them all the time and I probably don't um, do like traditional things that we are told to do for the ancestors. I talk to them like I'm talking to you, I buy them flowers, I ask them like, what do they like? I'll make sure that I'll get that the next time and put it out for them. Um, I talk to them all the time when I'm up at night. 
ask them a million questions. I'm sure they're sick of me, but um, I love them and I want them to know that I love them. And it's not about what I can get out of them. For me, it's about my relationship with them and understanding what do they know about me? What do the, the, the lineage, the ancestors down through the lineage, what do they know about me? What did they hear about me before I was born that they can share with me to help me on my path? And how can I continue to move forward and, and do my work, my inner spiritual work, and live in my highest expression using some of the tools that they've used and then maybe using my own tools that I've adopted along the way. That's what I've gotten out of working with my ancestors. And I see them everywhere. I see them in the animals. I see them in the plants. I'm always being surrounded with, with hawks. I'm always seeing hawks and butterflies, or I might see a snake, or I might see a particular insect that I've never seen before, but I know it's their way of communicating to me. So it's really opened me up to all the different ways that spirit can speak to us and the different ways that the Orishas can connect to us. I haven't had any negative experiences. It's always been beautiful. Um, my ancestors are very straightforward. And something else that I'll share with you is if I hang out with somebody or if I'm around somebody, the minute that I get in the house because I, I bless my space but I invite my ancestors to be here, to bless the space and to just be with me. Um, I will hear, do not trust that person, leave that person alone. And it won't make sense. And when I don't listen, I end up paying for it. So now I just listen because I know that our ancestors really do have our best interests at heart. And I don't have to go through the world, through my journey by myself. I have them and their wisdom and I have these practices to support me. I used to struggle with sleeping for a very long time. I'm gonna share this with you. I used to struggle with sleeping for a very long time. I don't know why. And I would wake up just feeling groggy and you know, cause I have sleep apnea and just a lot going on at the time. My ancestors said, take a glass of water, put it next to your bed. Now, I've never done this before. I didn't know what I was doing. They said, put the glass of water next to your bed. And I took a selenite crystal and I put it next to the glass of water. Do you know that night I slept peacefully and when I woke up, I felt so light as if I had a huge cleansing. And every night after that, I slept peacefully. And so my ancestors are slowly teaching me things that I can do to be much more empowered and in, in my alignment with my Ori. Um, I just learned that, so I wanted to say it. My Ori and being in alignment with all of life, with spirit, expanding my consciousness. Our ancestors, those of us that um, are diaspora babies, were master metaphysicians, master philosophers. They understood, you know, the stars, astrology, all these different things. And it's helping, it's helping me understand that I'm much more than what I thought. And now I understand why they were forced to abandon their beliefs. The Arawak Indians, the Taino Indians, the Native Indians, the Africans, why they were forced to give up their beliefs because knowing what I know now will be really hard to make me into a slave, to mentally enslave me because I know who I am. I know that the creator lives within me and that I'm connected to all these different energies around me and living in harmony with them will not only enhance my life, it'll bring healing, but it'll help me reach my highest divine potential. And so I want to invite you to go on your own journey. Start slow. Even if you don't know, start with meditating. Start with the prayer. Pay attention to the signs and follow the breadcrumbs. But make no mistake about this. I have a theory that all of the descendants of the diaspora are tied into some ATR. And perhaps breaking the generational curse really is about letting go of the identification that was placed on us because of slavery and moving back into our true identity and releasing the trauma that came along with that unconsciousness. Just a thought.